so what are we gonna do with all these uh, spider hats? I don't know. We can command spiders to defeat Klaus, I guess. <laughs> Wait, what are we going to use the bee mine for? Nothing. Oh, okay. I found those from a boon. Gotcha. That's why they're not planted, either. They're just random bee mines I found. Oh, there's more than one? Eh, only two bee mines. So, not a whole lot to, you know. Wait, where's the other- wait, do you have it? They're right here. Okay. I haven't planted them. If you plant them, the stingers shoot out. Yeah, Which yeah. Which means they can be triggered then. Yep. Turns out and I needed that one, Ash. Also, I'm wrapping the uh, dragon pie. I mean, dragon fruit. They only had two days left. Sounds good. I'm surprised at how many boards we have around here. Are they all from the chests? Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> we spent so long just ignoring the chest that when I went to go collect them, we have a buttload of boards. Yeah, I regularly don't hammer them down when I go collect. Yeah. So that probably doesn't help. And How did we end up with these trees growing on top of the carpet? World regen being wow. a butt. They really world regen. Look at this. I mean, I had this entire thing cleared out. Yeah, world Not regen that long is ago. a butt. Yeah, wow. It's pretty sucky. In my opinion, world regen shouldn't be this terrible. Well, I mean, it's good on, like, public servers, but this isn't a public server. Yeah, you'd think they'd have settings for different types of yeah, servers. But, nope, the only things are normal, fast, and slow. It's on normal by default? Yep. Okay, we have 40 honey left going into winter here. Oh, we actually have a lot of honey. Wow. I just made a crystal candy. You're working on the bunny helm as well? Yep. Well, how many more do you need? Two more? Yep. Yeah, I don't have any more of the powder or whatever that stuff was called. The glow dust. Yeah, there we go. So if we're gonna fight claws, like what special preparations do we need to make with Marsha? Probably more honey poultice if we don't have a lot. I have twenty six. How many do you have? Zero, because I gave you all mine. Okay, I'll give you half, and then I'll go out and get some more. We have plenty of honey we to make more. We have a bunch of reeds. Okay, you can start making some immediately. I'm, I'm still going to go and pick the reeds that are in the swamp, though. Good idea. But yeah, I'm amazed how useful honey poultice is. <laughs> like, I rarely get to spurge with the papyrus in my world. Yeah, it's because usually either you base too far away from the swamp to make it viable, or there's no reed trap in the game for easy reed collection. Just kind of annoying how they basically cut off one of the best healing items by making it near impossible to get that uh, papyrus. Just because Wicker Bomb had to be so powerful with their books. In single player games, it really shouldn't be an issue then. Surprised that how much faster you go immediately after sleeping. 
<laughs> it's that, that... because <laughs> you are like tired and full sleep. Yeah, but I mean, like, it seems to slow down even when you get past, like, maybe 90 on the sleep meter. It already starts slowing down, and you no longer feel nearly as fast. Yeah. Oh. Oh, full moon. Well, go figure. Every time. Every time. I suppose I could go fight spiders. You said I deal double damage? From what I remember, yes. Wow, there could actually be some spiders around here to fight. Maybe. Well, good news. I was I made myself twenty eight healing cells. Uh it's not quite as good as a honey poultice, but I'm, that's better than why nothing. I meant. Oh. Twenty eight? Okay, you've got more than me at this point then. Yeah. <laughs> and of course hounds. Well, I guess there's no better time than now, huh? I don't seem to be dealing that much more damage, honestly. Yeah. I think it's just from the AoE. Okay. Yeah, it makes... Which, I mean, you still do a lot. Oh my god, what the hell? Well, if I just sold the Hound Wave, <laughs> thanks to this AoE. Yeah, wow. Went a lot faster than usual. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, because the AoE kills mobs super quick. Also, I think we have enough monster meat for now. We have an entire ice box of it and stuff. Okay. Wow, that was really close. I almost uh, fell asleep next to the tentacle. <laughs> that would have been deadly. You think it would have killed me before I woke up? It would have woken you up with a hit, but it would have been annoying. Hmm. Just waiting for my tired to go down here a bit. Wait, is it tired or is it sleep? The one that, for uh, some reason, is not shown. The red one. The red bar on the... Uh, the, the, the right red, side. Yeah, that's tired. Okay. It's confusingly labeled in my opinion. It is. Wait, what are these little orbs that are floating around me? One just disappeared. Did they warm me up? Probably unspent XP. They oh. sometimes happen if, uh, like, something weird happens to the mob. Wait, is there a pick weapon? Yes. It's the axe. Oh, the axe doubles as a pick. That'd be useful for, like, gathering ice and whatnot. Also, I was uh, doing some testing on how to quickly level items. It will take a player about 20 stacks of gold to fully level in a Musha item at the forge. Really? And also two stacks of boards. Wait, does this mean just letting it sit in there or when you're power leveling? Power leveling, just oh. rubbing gold on it. Okay. Oops, I accidentally hid. Well, oh, here we go again. Also, your Phoenix helmet right now is 80% armor. Is that good? What does it usually start at? It was 64. Wow. What level is it? Uh, I'll go back and check it. I'm going to plant the spider eggs on top of the pangolins. It's level 16 because they deserve I was power this. leveling it. 
Level 16, okay. Let's see, when what- When max level, it is 94% the armor. Wow. My current weapon is at level 24. Okay, the snow should be falling soon. The uh, rainometer is in the blue. So the princess armor provides both winter and summer insulation? Yes. It switches. Oh, nice. And so does your uh, iron bunny helm. I guess I really don't need both then. We'll need more thermal stones. I wonder how that's going to work, actually, now that what? I think about it. Uh, having cloths, or fighting cloths with uh, insulating items on. Because the problem oh, is the old. freezing the fire gear. No, we. Okay. Um, that's not the point. He, f he will overheat you, and if you have items on that. Are going to insulate you. You can't cool off. Yeah, that's, that's a why problem. I said I'll be freezing the fire gear. That way, he won't be able to overheat you. Okay. Because that's not as much of an issue for the ice deer. Yeah. Wow. Why'd they just stop chasing me? That's really weird. These merms, they just stopped chasing me. Yeah, they stop chasing you if you get too close, too far away from their den. I've never noticed that before. I mean, I've not fought them much, but still. That makes them really easy to exploit. Okay, I got hit now. New idea. Chester is being barraged by bats, but it's not dying. Sounds about right. I have no clue how he died so easily before. Do the bats. Actually, imagine every time Chester died, he became more and more resilient. Like a revenge of the Chester. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm out of food. <laughs> Rip. Also, I... Uh, just remembered why you had to do to refill the pan flute. I mean the musha flute. And light bulbs. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Are you planning on using it or not? Yeah, I was. If oh. you were getting low, I would play it. Oh no. What? I thought the server was going down there for a second. No. That's weird. It didn't stop for a second there for you? I was loading in from the case. Oh, that's what was causing it. Okay. Yeah, when people join the world, sometimes it does that. Hey, I leveled up to level 10. Nice. Only two levels... Below me. Noise. And ballast wings. Mm. 
I need to make some food here. <laughs> Down to six hunger. Oh. Here. There we go. Okay, thanks. I still need to make more, though. Mm. There's some uh, dragon fruit in the middle of all the crock pots. I don't need health. Who said you were going to use it for health? I would, it would be a waste to use it for anything else. Mm. Only Josh would approve that philosophy. Yeah. I was just doing it to spite him. Since How is it user, spiting him? He is uses it? it for both health, health and hunger. We'll oh. just be using it for hunger. Struck me as more of an endorsement. Also, we only had ten planks. Not too stacked. Ten? What plants exactly? Clank. Clank. Puh, puh, puh. Oh, okay. Dang. I think all boards? Maybe that's the reason, yeah. That's why I didn't get it immediately. It's like, what is this weird word? That I'm being introduced to. Never heard it before. In the context of don't starve. Okay. But yeah, Time to make my poultice. Chest, I found that its only redeeming quality is it'll randomly spawn shadow tentacles to aid in combat. Because besides that, it was basically a clone of the one in Shipwreck, or what? Yep. Also, it gave a bit of armor. 40%. Which is literally nothing! Yeah, it's about the same as Musha's original backpack, wasn't it? Uh, Musha, the one she starts with? A, that's 50. Oh, even that one was better. Wow. That does seem... A bit of a uh, oversight, doesn't it? Yeah. That, I mean, it's meant for people who are, like, playing more of a defensive. The grass hut does not even have snow animations for it. <laughs> yeah. It really honest, looks, it out, of looks out of place. out of place. Yep. It's just too green, like w lime green. Why exactly was it included in the Musha mod? I don't get it. I think it, people just <sighs> want something like that. Yeah, but I mean, it's not really different at all. It doesn't apply to anything that Musha needs. It just seems to be an odd thing to include. Yep. That's why I tore it down. Oh, you just tore it down? Okay. Hey, it gave me a lot of grass and logs back. Okay, I'm curious. So we just have a little bit of snow now. I am wondering if the Krampus sack has spawned yet. Count so. prefabs. Let's see here. Count prefabs. Sack. Claw, claw sack, sack key. There we go. No, just claw sack. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are there is one in the world now. Awesome. So this is day two of winter, I think. Yeah, probably because you know snow. Yeah, yeah I'm just curious to see. Like, I should run it more frequently just before we get into winter. I'd be curious to see if it ever spawns before the snow flies, or like, like is it based on day? Like, how many days into winter you are, or is it based on the snowfall? I suppose yeah, an easier way of looking at, the, or figuring this out would be to actually look at the code, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I found it. Awesome. It's over here by the spiders, which I'm going to have to get rid of. I'll get the star collar. Well, we have to get rid of the spiders for... I don't want the spiders wandering into, like, the middle of it. Well, I Oops. still need to get everything ready. Okay. I need this spider. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the spider hat. Because there are three dens, or four dens. Oh, and the spider queen. Wow, okay, yeah. I'll stock up I on some spider hats. I our local uh, Weber. I don't even know who the local Weber was if any anymore. Frisk. Hmm. Wait, I thought he became somebody else. No. I th oh, I thought, I thought Frisk was... Oh, that was uh, Rickety, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought he was Wilson. I thought it was a record he was Wilson. Wilson! Lo siento.
Also, I like the nice touch to being able to walk over ponds in the winter. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the spiders to knock down their own dens here. Currently, nice. I'm mining ice. Wait, will they not attack the spider queen? Oh, they do. You okay. have to engage the fight. Oh, the pengals want to attack me now. Yeah, I don't think she stands much of a chance here. Look at this is a massive fight from the spiders. Just pretty much stomping. Sadly, it cannot last. And I need fire. Or right, here we go. This works as well. Oh yeah, they killed her. Dang. What an inconvenient time for some night here. Let's light a tree on fire. So that way I can go back to playing a spider. And just watch them beat each other. So how exactly do you acquire, like, which spiders do I know are mine? Or on my side? It's unknown, really. Because so, see, some of them says, like, owner raising hell, but, like, the rest of them aren't attacking me, even though it doesn't say I'm their owner. It's because some spiders are passive towards you. Okay. Like, the spiders you don't have as a minion, they are passive. So I really don't lose at all. Are they still angry at me? Oh, no. Here, let's try attacking us. Assault the den, brethren! Oops, I Good accidentally went on fire. Haha. Yeah, that's not going out anytime soon. Oh well, it gets rid of the den. That is more important to me. Oh my god, it wore off my head. Here. We're actually buddies now, what do you say? Yep. You're loyal to me. Attack. Attack the spiders. Well, rip. Here, attack each other. This is boring. Wait, what? Why are you attacking me? Attack this thing. It's because you attacked one of them. You lost your followers. No, I, I got them to attack each other now. So, somehow it worked out, I guess. I don't know. Magic. It's a bit weird. Not as transparent as I had hoped. Let's see here. Gonna do some charge. Wow, that was actually a bit overkill on my part. Ow. Oh no. Oh, what happened? Pangles on the claws sack. Oh, and a spider crane. For extra yippee points. Oh no. Shall I kill the baby then? Yep. It invests to tier 2 right as I was killing it. That was just evil. Oops. Should have dodged out there a lot earlier. I noticed that mod that announces who killed what is no longer working. I think that's because of yeah. Mursha or because something that happened with the mod. Something that happened with the mod because even with my unmodded run, it's not working. Oh, really? It's too bad. I enjoyed seeing that. So you could see who got the last hit on something? 
yeah, it was good to keep track of what other players were doing in the world when it came to uh, fighting interesting bosses. Okay, here we go. What should we do with the pangals? Besides, let them hit me. Let me uh, empty my inventory first. Okay. And by empty my inventory, I mean heal up. Oh, I killed them. Okay, I killed a few over here. Oh, there's still some left. That one had a rotten egg already? That is a bit curious. Let's see here, what do the other ones have? A drumstick and a small morsel. Odd. Also, there's another spider right here. Spider den or just a random spider? Random spider. Random figure. Spiderman. Wow, my man is down to five. I actually need to sleep. probably sleep in the tent before we do the claws. Okay. Eight oh five. Probably a good idea for me to do it too. Uh, good evening, footballs. I just noticed the message. I suppose I'm a couple minutes late, but better late than never, eh? Ah, I just could not click that button for some reason. But yeah, even the most basic tent we could use, really. Wait, you don't like Musha's tent? No, no, for random going around the world. Oh, couldn't you just use like a straw roll or something? If yeah, needed... but that requires also having a fire. Oh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't need one. Um, that's a good point because you can also like prefab the tent so you can just like keep it in your inventory the whole time until you actually really need it Yeah. So it's really funny you get kicked out of the tent when you're starving, but at the same time You go back to sleep and continue starving Yeah, <laughs> I think it's just how the mod does its own thing Yeah, because the mod has like a different sleep uh, schedule thing going for it. Yep. Wow, these berries are getting pretty old. Put them in the frog oven. Okay. I still not sure. How exactly do I get the frog oven to cook anything? You put them in it while the fire slit. Uh, they, they won't put in, though. They just cook. Like a no, regular no. fire. You open it first. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to clear out my inventory, then. Okay. So open frog oven first. Put berries in frog oven. Add fuel. And oh. how long do I wait? Do you know there how long? Go. They're done. They're done. Okay. Nice. Wait, does it restore a hundred percent of their? <laughs> yeah, because the purple gems magic. Okay. Guess that's one way to look at it. Magic. Make some nice meatballs out of this then. Yep. Is Kloss hard? Uh, it, he probably will be with Musha. What do you think our chances are, Arlene? We haven't done it yet with just us, the two of us, um, as Musha. Musha only does like 50% damage that the other characters do. So, it's a bit like playing a worse version of Wes or Wendy. It's actually, uh, Wimpy Wolfgang. Yeah, okay. It's like fighting as Wimpy Wolfgang. But maybe we can use the magics to our benefit. Why did you drop the uh, roasted berries on the ground? That was an accident. That was one of the ones that I tried to put in when it was still in my hand. Uh, oh, okay. Also, your uh, Phoenix helmet is at 81% armor. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should use that because I really don't need the light. 
but the problem is it gives more insulation. It still gives less insulation to my bow, maybe it doesn't. But you see you're going to freeze it anyway. It couldn't hurt to bring it along, could it? Yeah, and remember it also slows your sleep loss. Yeah, I suppose that's more important. Okay, what do I I just wanted some more logs, but there aren't any here. I need a thermal stone. Got that. I don't need this oh, luxury there's fan. Logs in here. Okay. You're gonna be using a star collar? I already put one down over there. Do we have an antler? I got it. Okay. I guess we're pretty close to ready then, honestly. Yep. Maybe store a few of these. I guess that chest is full. We have a lot of monster meat. Oh, I have a, a lot of cut reeds here. If I just get some more honey, I can make more honey poultice. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Like, it's 8 o'clock where I am, and it's still a little bit daylight out. Yeah, blame summer. It's just been like half a year since I've seen that. <laughs> Oh wait. Let's see here. I my microphone maybe that that'll work. It's a little bit better. It continues to pick up the radio interference from my modem. Which irritates me because it's this constant eeing sound in the background of it. Hey, I found where Claus died last year. Really? What does he leave behind? No, no. It's from all the skeletons. Okay. Oh, right. Ah, uh, well, let's uh, let's try this then. Wait, should we bring respawns over here, or do you think we don't need them? I mean, I keep uh, life giving on me, but I don't know about you. I do too. Okay. So you've got the staff, right? I already placed down the star. No, I mean for freezing. I have two of them. Cool. I got two staves. So, you ready? I hope that'll be enough. <laughs> yeah. Let's Usually go for it. Usually only takes one stave. Yeah, but you're doing, dealing half damage. Let's yeah, see. So that's Let's why guess. I brought two. Okay, maybe I need to, maybe I need to do four then. It's been a while since I've actually fought class myself. Yeah, I seem to be able to do four. Okay. Nope. Oh. Just saved your bacon raisin. Thanks. He's in the middle of casting fire. What the? Nope. Nope. Didn't mean to attack him. Oh my god. That was an accident. I think it's because my... Ice. What the pangol? It's because we killed all the pangols. They respawned. That's unfair. What's that smell? What a what brilliant timing there, Moshun. <laughs> What's that smell? I wonder. <laughs> it's the smell of me getting ripped. Because for some reason she has to stop and say it. Ice him again. Okay, here we go. Oh. Why, why, no. I'm frozen. No. Oh, that was nice. Remember, you can face the tank with the uh, shield. 
Okay, I might save that for next, though. Like, when he gets super aggressive. Yeah. Haha! -ha, you missed me. Not again. Nope. Oh my god, I got... Got frozen anyway. Hey, I should actually use that, shouldn't I? What? My charge. Bye. Oh no. We don't even have pan floats. Okay. Shit. Time to go shield. I got stunned from what's that smell? What? Oh wow. What bad luck. I gotta try to cool off here. Okay, here we go. Got the armor back. One last uh, Krampus left. Okay. <laughs> Worth every penny. Probably should not be taking this extra damage from the deer. That's probably a bad idea. Ooh, uh, that hurts. Also, look how slow Claws moves. Yeah, that was happening the other time. It's because he is stacked lung. How do we enable that anyway? It's our lightning. Oh, really? Okay. Does it make him move slower when he's like a mighty beast as well? Mm -hmm. it, you know, his stage two. It still says Brawlhalla? I'll have to go and change that after we're done. I wasn't supposed to say that. Not good. No, ah. that's a. Oh, what a time, Reagan! too. What the hell? We have frozen statues! Okay, here we go. Time to get this back under control a bit. Red hot stone. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to use one of my energy drinks here. There we go. Whew. Just barely got away on that one. First part down. Now he's at half. Yep. Honestly, I might just be able to tank this kind of damage. Armor is pretty durable. Oh wow, he's after you. I heard something break. Nothing of mine. No, 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 no. Oh, my bunny helm broke. Haha. -ha. It was actually you. 
Hey, at least it wasn't something important. How's about them apples? It was just my speed gear. Yeah. Okay, time to change the Brawl Hollow mistake. Oh wow, they. What? Let me look here. Okay, I didn't change it. Really? How the hell did that happen? Oh. Yeah, I thought I went and changed all these. Maybe they just didn't update after I did it. Like, it pretended it updated, but, like, it timed out. Probably just timed out. That's happened before. Okay. I think they're all streaming Don't Starve Together now. Nice. Woohoo. I should also turn off my lightning. So, did you get anything good? Uh, blueprint, shroom skin, and other junk. We had a shroom skin from before? What was the blueprint for? Yeah. I haven't opened it yet since oh. I don't want to open it when we're not at base. Okay. Yeah, so that did use one energy drink. I probably could have made it through without eating any of them, to be honest, though. So and that was you're, interesting. You're running the risk of passing out because you were activating lightning so often. Oh yeah, you're right. If I hadn't done any of the lightning, you're saying it would be better? Yeah, but it, it would have taken longer too. Yeah, it's trade-off. And trade -off. also the staff broke so well. Two 100% staffs broke. <laughs> That's kind of what I guessed would happen. Yeah, but, well, we made it through with two. Yep. And I only used four honey poultice, I think. So, See? apparently, however this armor is stacking, it's pretty effective. Like, right now it says 80% for my best one, the princess armor. Yeah, it's, and what's the top one that you're using? 80% is the best. The Oh, uh, stand next to the forge. If oh, you're wait, no, the okay. phoenix helm is actually 81%. Why? What yeah. should I do with the forge? Uh, I was saying if you're going to repair items. Oh, because you also get the XP boost from it? Yep. Good point. There's no but reason yeah, not to. The, uh, it, uh, because you're wearing two pieces, that's 80. Um, it adds on 7% more armor. And you got some sneakers. Yep. I'm not a sneaker head. So it doesn't mean much to me. Scaled furnace blueprint. <laughs> That's right, we should uh, like do dragonfly. That'd be interesting. As Musha? <laughs> we haven't done it yet. Wait, has uh, Oh Josh has done it once, right? Once, yes. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> That's I mean, how we have one thing in this world. <sighs> How many pan flutes do we have? Like, I think together... We have three. Three? Hmm. I'm just trying to think of the downsides here. I suppose I might overheat, yeah. It's a very real possibility of that happening. If you don't keep a thermal stone on you, it's a lower chance. What do you mean if I don't keep one on me? I don't know. Also, why did you leave berries in the crock pots? I might have left a few, yeah. Why? You uh, found some? Yeah. Well, but, uh, yeah. what's the other thing? There's Bee Queen. Do you think she respawned yet? Most likely, yeah. I'll just bring a hammer in case. Oh, I might also need to read some books, though. Deer mm. Clops. Deer Clops, I don't think it's going to be spawning towards the, till towards the end of winter. Dumb. Also, I'm making jelly beans. Wait, more jelly beans? Where do we get them? Where do we get yeah, them? Yeah, what, what's his face? Oh, Colossus. Okay. Yeah, because I made 18. But... Is there a place where we're keeping them? No. He or did Jawash just eat furnace. them all? Yeah, Jawash usually eats them all. Do I want the scaled furnace with the blueprint? Do you already have it? No. Then you use it. Okay. I'm not doing much of the base building, so there's really no reason for me to have it. Okay, so if I'm going to be going over there, let me bring some books. How many on tentacles do we have? That's STS. 
I don't think we have any on tentacles left. Dang. Oof. Unless they're over there. Oh, well, we have enough. Stuff. You have enough well, lot? I mean, we ha have enough uh, tentacle spots to make more. Yeah, I got 28. So, 28 on tentacles. I'm oh, oh. we can't. We don't have any reeds left. I reeds went grow during the winter, you know. Really? I didn't know that. From okay. I saw, yeah. Huh. I thought they were, like, grass for some reason. Really? Does it say on the wiki? For me, I've always noticed that they did. There okay. now it's my brain playing tricks on me again. Well, let's see here. It says, once cut, they need three days to regrow, but will not regrow during winter. Oh. Hmm. So. I guess my brain was lying to me. Well, I mean, it, I seem to remember them not regrowing. So that's why I figured, you know, both of us had a pretty solid stance on what they did. So I figured let's just confirm it with a semi-official source there. So it's one papyrus. How many did I needed to? Yeah. Uh, there's probably one reed around here. I probably can make one book. There's a, uh, yeah, th you're passing by the reed. Yeah, I just need one more after this one. Sadly, the other reeds in that swamp burn. Okay, I think there was one reed left in the big swamp that I didn't pick. It's on the left-hand side of the road. Well, depending upon which way you're facing it. Yeah. Here we go. Should I go uh, clean up more at the chests? If you want to. Otherwise, there's like a uh, dragonfly that we could try to do. Uh, this bat is eating guano. Really? I didn't think they eat, eat guano. Yeah, it's eating guano and pooping out more guano with every guano it eats. Wow. I guess that explains why there's always going to be guano lying around, even if they eat it. They just poop it back out, like, yes. Yes. Marasmus! Okay, here we go. On tentacles. Just add an extra book to the mountain to make sure. There might actually be a book over there already. Yeah, possibly. You want me to go check? I'm on my way over there right now. Well, I okay. was on my way. Until I realized I was going in the wrong direction. Taunt. Nope, there's no books. Okay. Have to save up for the reeds next time we get them. Like, 38 honey poultice might have been a bit overkill. Oh. Hello. Wait, am I? Yeah, okay, I'm pretty close. It's still a lot of also, tentacles around there, though. Yeah. But do you really want to chance it? I want a chance driving the stupid, annoying pangols into it. <laughs> Here. Come on, you dumb birds. Should I be farming McTusk? Do we need any more canes for anything? Do you need wild ammo? Not necessarily. It's rock and roll, pangols. I was just thinking, since nothing gives as much sandy from the Mushamod like a Tamo, like nothing in game is equal to a Tamo, we might want one. Okay. I don't. We used to have one, but I don't know what happened to it. Uh, Josh and Frisk. I guess that explains a lot around here. Why are these pengals being so passive towards me? I keep hitting them, and only one will go after me now. It's, uh, like, Clay added me an update that made him weaker. Where sometimes they'll actually be passive towards the player. I mean, passive even when I'm standing here hitting it. That was the weird thing. Yeah. Huh. 
Huh. Well, the tentacles took care of them, so I don't have to listen to their annoying squawking anymore. I'm gonna go back and get the hive hat first, though. So that way, I can regen sanity while standing in the middle of the tentacles. Since Musha's perk, or one of them, is that she can become invisible. Wait, what happened to you? Did you lose connection? Wow. Looks like Aline's internet's fallen on hard times. Yet again. It has been alleged that there is some pretty intense 4K YouTube streaming going on over there. What do I think about the new Stronghold coming out? I haven't really seen anything about it besides the video at, what, like, PAX or something that they did? I forget where the convention was. Um, you know, it sounded good and everything. They said that they weren't going to be doing it in the desert and they weren't going to be doing, a, like, a mythical-based thing, but they didn't rule out, like, maybe doing a later time period, like, post, like, early Renaissance or something. I, I think that could be interesting. And I think it would you know, inject a bit more flavor into the current formula, which has become a little bit, I guess, repetitive after 20 years. Has it really been 20 years? No, it hasn't been 20 years yet, because it was like 1999. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's getting up there, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Like, I've liked all the Stronghold games so far, even Stronghold 3. A lot of people give it grief, and I will agree there are some annoying bugs with it, but by and large, like, it wasn't unplayable. Uh, in its current state, anyway. When it first came out, I think it was a little bit, like, really annoying. Oh! Hello, Pikachu. Apparently, Aline just lost his internet. So, you basically have the floor. Which is a little bit strange these days, it seems. There's usually more people in here. Oh no, you have a bad internet connection too. Are you on your phone or something? <laughs> I honestly can't make out what you're saying. It's uh, it's all garbled, unfortunately. It's B Queen. Wow, this is the first time I've actually started freezing this winter. Stronghold Crusader is your favorite? Is it the HD one or... Oh, I assume it's the HD one, yeah. Because you didn't say Stronghold Crusader 2. Do you know, like, anybody who was introduced to Stronghold through Crusader 2? Because, like, personally, I can't think of anybody. Like, pretty much everybody that I knew from Stronghold, they came in from earlier games. It's a bit sad, though, like, Stronghold really doesn't have any sort of streaming audience for it. And then there's really nobody that's interested in playing a match. Outright, anyway. Yeah. I guess it's good that they're going back to the table. I know they did another game in between Stronghold Crusader 2 and now, but I haven't really checked it out. Like, they, it's funny because, like, you think I, I'm a volunteer mod with Strong or Firefly. You would have thought, like, they would have mentioned it at some point to us as mods or, like, said, hey, look, we're doing a, a closed beta or something. You can get into it. But like, oh nice. Um, I was just talking about Stronghold and the direction it's taking with uh, T footballs. How long ago would you say that was that he got you into it, your cousin? Because you know Stronghold Crusader HD has been around for well, not HD version of it, but like Stronghold Crusader has been around for. Scream on me, Oh, you're back, I mean, Nice. Back. How, what happened? Did the 4K internet crashed. YouTube get to you? It's a bit strange for you. Usually it doesn't just outright die. 
I went downstairs, my router's cooking burgers. Oh, so did you just have to... Ooh, so... See, right there, you, you have a plausible excuse to tamper with it. Now you can, like, reload the BIOS in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> nope, Wait, my what? grandpa was the one who was resetting it. Wow, they're really restrictive about that thing. Yep, because my grandpa thinks I don't know how to handle it, even though he doesn't. I have an idea for a character. He can't hold objects in his hand slot. He can't equip items in his hand slot. But he can't die either. Sounds like a rather boring <laughs> character to play, honestly. Yep. Okay, maybe I'll make it so he can die. Wait, uh, there is a character sort of like that, but he has to craft specialty items. No, this character just can't equip things in his hey, hand slot at all. If, if you want a character like that, reconsider the idea of the character that can't use we or has a severe penalty when using weapons, but does like extra fist punching damage. Well, the thing is, he doesn't have hands, so. No, I mean just. Ignore the character without the hands, because no hands is kind of boring for us humans. Like, we need opposable thumbs to do anything kind of interesting, so... I just I just failed to see how that would be an interesting character. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I want to play Shipwrecked, but I want to play it as a character from Don't Starve Together. <laughs> you still want to beat every campaign mission? So, like, which ones have you played so far, T footballs? Wait, what is sleep? Oh, here we go, invisible. Well, that made me pretty crazy. Okay, let's read the tentacles book. We really need to start farming Volt Goats. Yeah, you're right, we should. That way we don't run into the same problem that we did last time, where we killed them all. Because they didn't have a chance to respawn. Because someone ended up slaughtering them all, wiping them clean from existence. Wow, the tentacles would just not spawn in this one location here. Oh well. Oh yeah, my, it's ridiculous how fast my sanity is going up with this. 23, 24, 25. It's, yeah, like, it's less than one second. It's like two per second, I'd say. Wait, when you say um, every camp, oh, for, in regards to T footballs, Stronghold Crusader one HD and then Crusader Extreme and just Stronghold. When you say all, every campaign mission, do you mean the trail as well, or just like the actual story-based campaign? Because I haven't completed the trail either for Crusader HD. I, I'd say I got about through half of it. And then the other half is... Uh, ran out of time. Back when I was playing it, like I wasn't as... Um, I was really slow. Like I'd play the game at 20 speed the entire time. So it took me forever to do stuff. <laughs> but that was how I played it back then. Racing. I got the uh, Tamo first try. Very nice. Well, in regards to the Bee Queen, I think it's ready to be fought again. Ooh. Oh no, okay, Hounds first. How the Hounds deal with the tentacles? How the hell am I so slow? I don't get this with the sleep. I am ridiculously slow right now. Were you in Hidden? Yeah. Your tired meter also affects your uh, sleep. I mean, your speed. But, well, my tire is only at 26. Does it affect you that significantly? I guess it does. Here we go. Time for bubble. I hid in shadow with only 5 HP. Hounds plus tall birds equal nightmare. 
I like fighting a tall bird. They're actually pretty interesting. Yeah, but not when you have hounds and tall birds. Okay, I guess not. 20 speed, you play 90? Wow, yeah. Well, this was back like 10 years ago at this point when I was back, uh, playing it at speed 20. So I would hope I've changed a bit since then. I still don't play on speeds higher than 60 usually, I would say, because things just start getting out of control a little bit, uh, for the trail at least, but uh, there are some missions where you just need to speed things up because it gets a bit slow. Oh my word, raising. Oh my walk. What up? Um, so, single player don't starve. I know you don't do mod lights for that, but you know my first person mod? Someone made an even better first person mod I know. for single player and it actually changes the skybox. It's also for DST. Oh it wow, is. yeah I saw it. We should totally play that once. And it's also toggleable. I didn't see it for Don't Starve Together. It exists. Wow. Yep. Hmm. Okay, I need to use shield here. It says shield is fully charged again. Uh, hmm. I think I'll wait until the morning. Wood, wood and needed was all you heard on that one trial map. Really? Which one was that? I know wood needed is like a big meme in Stronghold, but... Oh, by the way, for um, Aline and Pikachu, <laughs> yeah. I had an idea of like a series that I thought would be interesting. And that's basically where like people, or I go and tour people's bases, and then they like get the promotion from that, and people get to see like the kinds of different ideas that people come up with. So it'd be like a base showcase instead of a mod showcase. Uh, the difficult part of it, of course, is finding people who are willing to do a showcase. <laughs> but I thought it could be interesting just to see how people build different bases. Well, you already know how I build. For the most well, I mean, I, like, we could do one of your more permanent worlds or something that you usually... Something that's day a thousand or something. I don't know, what do you think of it? Do you think it could be interesting? It could be interesting. Sadly, all my, uh... My old permanent worlds became too unstable. Oh, really? I, th I think. Not I think even I, I could play on them after board. day 2000. How was that, Pikachu? Um, you could try making your own mod and then, like, document the experience. Yeah? Um, I suppose if I did make a mod, I probably would, because there, don't, there don't seem to be a lot of. Like tutorials? tutorials? Yeah. It I know there are a few in the forums. It so much work trying to figure out how to make a custom creature because the only tutorial is super outdated. Oh, wow. Wait, is this one of the tutorials on the forums or what? Um, it's a workshop tutorial. Oh, okay. Have you looked at any of the ones that are on the, like, official clay forums at all? For making creatures, I couldn't find any. Oh, okay. I guess there isn't one then. I've looked a little bit. I haven't gotten really into the modding scene, but you know, it's probably the next area for me to progress to, honestly. Because you can actually, like, read the game files, then figure out what the hell's going on under the hood. Okay. Here we go. Bee Queen. Wish me luck. Let's see. Oh my god. Bad juju. Oh, wow. I was opening. Uh, I was overheating. Well, that was something else. What? I'm not exactly sure what happened, but apparently, C is keyed to monster meat for me. I thought that was R that was keyed to monster meat. Anyway, when I activated the bubble, I I I think I ate monster meat. So it <laughs> it paused me for a second there, and I didn't get to fully beat down the hive. Maybe I can just dodge in with one more hit and get it. I'm not sure. You want me to come in there and save you? Uh, how long does it usually take for the shield to recharge? 90 seconds. 90 seconds? Okay, I guess I can wait for that. Wow, it really just completely ripped my armor. Flap, flap, Went flap, Down flap. like 30%. Yeah. It's a bit challenging to pull this one off. 
easy, but we had to do it the cheap way. It'll say when my charge is ready, right? Yeah, shield is ready. Okay. I must say, Mush is looking a bit grayer than usual. Why does she look so gray? She's like oh, a dark elf. Oh, you might have activated Berserker. Oh, how does the that happen? The monster meat has a chance of activating Berserker. Oh, wow. Okay, that probably explains what happened then. Okay, here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> what? I got out of there, but... I don't know, it's just suspenseful, I guess you could say. When you're standing there, and those tentacles are all... violating you, and then you worry that your shield could suddenly... Disappear because it's taking a long time to hammer the hive down. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, honestly, this is like the only way to do it at do that it. point. Since you, we kind of went the extreme lazy way. I just got an idea. <laughs> My notepad is filled with ideas that I had and never executed. <laughs> I just got a millionth idea. Okay, so inspired by a series of unfortunate events, the mod icon would just be the VFDI, and that's it. And it wouldn't have any description of what the mod does. <laughs> and what it does is it randomly sets fires in your world. <laughs> Wait, what is VFDI? VFD stands for Volunteer Fire Department in a series of unfortunate events, and, um, Count Olaf is always setting fires, so I thought it'd be fun. I guess if you make it a little bit more explicit that... Okay, she's dead now. Because, like, okay. for people who aren't familiar with a series of unfortunate events, they might not understand that, because I didn't. <laughs> make a serious one though like I should make character mods of the children uh, or a violent Klaus and then Sunny would be a mob craftable by either Violet or Klaus because <laughs> <laughs> Sunny's the baby yeah I know that much armor's 30% thanks for the heads up or no no um, Sunny would be unique to Violet that way Violet has a good perk um, maybe she would also be able to craft things without a science machine, similar to Wickerbottom. Oh, I'm 100% tired. <laughs> and then Klaus would be able to craft and use Wickerbottom's books as well. Klaus? Wait, did I hear this right? Klaus. What? How are we playing as Klaus all the- Oh, Klaus. <laughs> the, the boy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you got me there. Wait, that's a great play on words. Instead of summoning Klaus, it will summon Klaus to fight. No. I think I've just figured it all out. <laughs> also, uh, raising. I found, uh, what? <laughs> Go oh, into no. shadow and hit R once you're fully in shadow. Uh, well, I really have a tired character here, but what do you mean? What happens? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll try it after I get my tired all the way back up. Because it's down to 0%. Or 100% because this mod likes to look at things in a less than intuitive manner. It is odd. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're going to have something like sleep and tired, at least make them a little bit different from one another. Because I still I mean, don't there's understand. There's a badge that makes it easier to understand in the config. There is a badge? Like, it changes, you know, how the badge right now is, like, weird. Oh. What does it change It'll it base, to? It changes it into a puppy face. Tired means the puppy face will look even more sleepy. And the background will change from uh, green all the way down to red if you're getting too tired. Okay, this is such a good idea for a mod. 
uh, it'll add in three new characters, Violet, Klaus, and Count Olaf. It'll add in a new mob, Sunny. And wait, why is Sunny a mob? I don't get that at all. <laughs> she she should at least be a me. pet. Well, yeah, she'd be a, a pet mob. Okay. All um, right. I thought it was going to be yeah. some wild mob that just roams the wilderness. <laughs> Let's hope not. You read all the books in grade school footballs, okay. I, I have only seen the movie, so I'm probably the le least uh, versed one here on a series of unfortunate events. But yeah. Wait, Klaus would be able to read Wickerbottom's books and perhaps um, some other perk. Violet would be able to have Sunny and craft things without a science machine. And then um, Count Olaf Sunny would be automatically hostile towards Count Olaf and attack him, but he would be able to set fires. Wait, how can you make pets that are able to attack? Um, it's just wow, that beefalo is creepy and, and stuff. shadowy. Oh, you can? Okay. I was not aware. I think if anything is going to inspire me to make a mod, it's the idea of implementing a claw a Klaus monster instead of Klaus. This has sparked my imagination. It'd be really simple. What have I done? I've created a monster. I, uh, I'm so excited I have to go to bed. Uh, I will uh, raising disease. Okay, I've got the I'm shovel. Out currently. I have the shovel. Oh yeah, I have something else exciting to say, so that's okay. Why wouldn't it, wait, why wouldn't it be a I good... Too much. Oh. Yeah, go for um, it. Next weekend, I'm getting a pet bee. A there's pet a, bee. Yes, there's a honey farm giving away male drones as pets. They don't have stingers. And I'm going to have a bee. So, how do you care for a bee? Uh, give it sugar water or honey and regular water as well. And how long are they expected to uh, last? About three months. Oh, wow. I like that pet. In a, in a way, I kind of like that idea. Like, a pet that only lasts three months. So that way, if you get tired of it, you don't just, like, kick it out the door down some country road, right? <laughs> it's, it's like the humane uh, version of a pet to adopt. When you think that your kids are going to get bored of it in a week. I think more parents need to do that. Okay, nice. good night. This well, needs to become a thing. Going to rot right now. What happened? Just bundle it. You have like five bundling wrap. No, no, it's the uh, berries. Like the berries that are in here. Good, I'll just bundle wrap them. They're in the red! No, these aren't. Wait. No, I was saying in the other fridge. Oh. Well, I mean, you have a better idea? Potatoes. Not versed in this magic. Okay. Good night to you as well, T footballs. Tonight? Tomorrow's a school night. Oh, yeah, this is Sunday. Go figure. Also, we have a lot of gems. But we're Musha. This cannot be happening. <laughs> yes, we are meant to eat all the gems. Yeah, I thought gems were going to be like a major bottleneck in this world for our progression. Uh, apparently, thanks to the green amulets, they aren't. We have some entity to thank, I'm sure. So, in regards to Dragonfly, how do you think we should try to beat her? Placing walls. Probably would be the safest. You know, here's the problem. Hmm. If we do place walls, what will end up happening is since we deal so little damage, there will get there will come a point where it takes so long uh, for her to spawn new waves that she'll just perpetually spawn waves of larvae. Right? I think we're gonna have to uh, kill, uh, do the tactic where she, in, she enrages each and every time. 
Because that way you're guaranteed, right? The first enrage is at, uh, wait. Yeah, 80%. Then you have another en enrage at 50, and then another one at 20, right? And then zero. So you're guaranteed only three waves of larvae are going to spawn. I'm most certainly interested in doing it. I think it could be pretty interesting. Could be. Like trying to beat if more we get bosses. Our music up, it could be even better. I mean, that's wait be, because she doesn't do collateral damage. No, no, it's because we'll have even more damage per second. Just sort of mob her with them. Yep. Speedfall needs to stop getting up in my grill, or I'll grill it. <laughs> Funny thing is, if you kill that beeflo, it'll just turn back into an egg and drop a lot of meat. Oh. So you're saying there's an actual benefit to killing the beeflo. Yeah, you spend 20 days leveling it, I mean growing it up, and then you get all your meat back. <laughs> okay. But suppose you just killed it after you immediately spawned it. For it the only meat. gives them one morsel. Oh, it only gives one morsel, okay. Well, what does it require to spawn it? Oh, to make a new one, or just... Oh, you hatch an egg. You hatch an egg? What does it take to make the egg? Five glow dust, one life-giving amulet, eight purple gems, and 60 beefalo wool. And beefalo wool? Uh, that's yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, it's 60. You might have to wipe out a few herds. Or shave a few herds. Yeah. I I'm in the... Genocidal mindset, I guess. I forgot that peace was an option on the table. It was possible to get what we wanted from the beefalo without killing them. Sometimes. They should yield their horns. You would think that would make sense, like during the spring or something. Maybe if you ran them into trees, there'd be a chance of it. Yeah. Kind of like with the reindeer. Yeah. You will die, Batalusk. But then we would have too many horns. We never seem to have too many deer or basketballs aren't as many. It just decreased their chance of it dropping to like 2% or something. Even that would probably be too high. Um, hmm. 20, 0.25%, how about that? I don't know. I suppose that gets into the range of being statistically insignificant though if you are actually hoping to like farm horns and you know by chasing beefalo into the trees. It could help though for the pacifists, pacifists in the game. I always have trouble with that word unfortunately. Pacifist. Yeah, it's a hard word to say. It's pacifist. pacifist isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Pan flute time I guess then. Wow, this could be tricky. Don't we have higher ones? What do you mean? We only need one pan flute, really. Oh, I was talking about... I thought you were looking at the 30% one. No, no, I mean, it's going to be tricky because... Wait, when we make a mandrake soup, does that restore, like, it the sleepy? It restores 150, uh... It, it restores 80, if I remember. Of the sleep stuff? Yeah. So I could use that instead of an energy drink, then. Yeah, but then you have to worry about having high hunger. Why? Oh. Wait, you're telling me she can't... I thought she could eat... So, what happens if something she's about to eat would exceed her maximum cap? She can't eat that? No, no. If you're full, she can't eat. Okay, that's what I thought. So, in other words, if you are, like, one food below full, you can eat a mandrake, can't you? If you're at below 180 hunger. Wait, doesn't it vary based on the... You always have a max of, uh, 200. Okay, I'm at 200 right now. So why 180? 180 is, uh, 80%. Oh, 80 is, okay, yeah, that's where she can... That's where she has to stop eating, got it. I mean, I feel like I could do mandrake soup. Oh no, that bird is about to die. Wait, what? It says 3.9 days. Why does it look so pooped? 
It's because it hates not being tall. All birds do. Really? Yep. They're just greedy little things. Never yeah. hunt, never satisfying. That's true. You can literally cycle tons of meat through it. So I guess the next thing I'll wait for here is the next hound wave to make sure that's out of the way. And then I think, uh, ready to try. I don't know. I think winter would be the best season, given the fact that I'm prone to overheat. But I could be wrong. What do you think about that? Winter? I don't really know. Do you think you could be uh, on, like, standby in case things start going south? To, like, come in and save me or something? Sure. Like, you don't have to actually be on the arena, but, like, be ready to run over there or something if I, yeah. if I feel things are going badly. What, what's the, like, well, the max health cap, then? Is it 135? 250. Oh, 250. Wow, we have a ways to go, then. Yep. What, what were you going to say? Uh, what's it? Uh, the quick wormhole to the desert is right here. Wait, let me check. Oh, really? Okay. I, won't, I yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, it's over here. Wow. That's, like, right next to the camp. And this whole time I've been doing it the hard way. Yeah, I've mentioned that multiple times. And you said no, it would be quicker. Well, I'm just lazy, so... Like, memorizing a new wormhole and where it goes is... Perceived you know, by me to be harder. That's the reason why we set face here. No, I set a base here to make like everybody happy as much as possible. Uh. I guess in the meantime I can just collect cactus. Oh, there are also tumbleweeds over here. Oh, and I want to fight this vulture. Oh, the vulture threw flew away. Currently my armor is at 48% protection. Wait, you haven't upgraded to the princess armor yet? No, no. That's what I'm using. It's at 48. I don't understand. Mine is princess armor and it says 80%. What level is it? Oh, what level? Uh, I don't know. Wait, let me see here. Level 25. Why? What's yours at? Uh, what is it? So how come my armor... When I say armor, I'm talking about, like, the stuff that she wears on her body, right? Yeah, the chest piece. Wait, how come yours is so low, then? Mine is 84% armor at level 26. Oh, okay. Mine, yeah, mine's 82. Okay, that sounds more in line, then. Do you know what's up with these buzzards? All of a sudden, they're not interested in fighting me at they all. They only attack you if they, uh, you steal the meat. Okay. I thought I could just, like, stunlock them there. Ooh, I have the weather pane blueprint. That's, that's what we should do. We should farm the Volt Goats. Do you know where they are? Uh, there's... A, we only have one herd in this world. And they're right here. Wait. Are you over there? Oh. Yep. Okay. Antlion Desert. I guess so, then. Yeah, they just fly away. Also, do you have Sniff ready? Yeah, I think it was actually ready back for Kloss, and I forgot about it. Okay. Here we go. It's near. Ooh. It's actually in the desert here with me. It's right there. I see it. That just spawns like a hundred tentacles. Spawn two spiders and a depth dwelling worm thing. Depth worm. Colin. Um, so you're not using your phoenix helm for the fight? I have it on me, don't I? No. I don't? Oh, wow. Left in the forge. Well, I'm not fighting the dragonfly right now, anyway. Nothing. Okay, we gotta swap wep weapons here. That's untenable. I was just asking since, you know... Where are my apples at? Huh. 
One of them was a false apple. If I dig the apple up, will it yield another apple? Yes. Might as well do that. I'll probably never be over here again. Get the second uh, apple. Yeah. Down here, uh, like, right. Oh my god, five here gears. Is the, the apple forest, am I right? You mean in that savanna? Yeah, that's the apple forest for us. It's the closest thing we've got to one. <laughs> Since all of our things keep spawning over there. Oh, you had another spawn over there? Yep. Wow. Apples. That's literally what happened. Apples. So I was actually planning on doing the Volt Goats next, not Dragonfly. As you pointed out, the sooner we start harvesting them, the more opportunities we have to get more horns. What thinkest thou? Probably the best of the ideas. No bullying, Chester. But dang, you have double the XP I have. And yet I'm only two levels higher. Yeah. It's pretty sobering. Hardly also making any progress now in the terms of levels. By the way, here's what I want to show you. It's a poison what's attack? My head? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I now can fire bombs. Alright, shoot it at Chester and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. Oh my uh, god. What? He's down to 20 when you, after you hit him. Also, he has a bomb on his head. Yep. That didn't affect him as much as it affected me, though. I don't know. I don't get the bombs, honestly. They don't seem to be that bad. Like, people make a thing about the bombs at Toadstool. I found it to be trivial. And I'm not saying that just to, like, condescend to people who are... ...not very good, but, like, they don't do that much. Like, maybe they rot the food in your inventory. Well, you just don't keep food in your inventory. Speaking of, I, I'm going to see if this uh, rocks, this rocks my food. Damn. Yep, it rocks the food. Nice. <laughs> hey, quick way of rot. But That's a good these, point. That was a lot of damage for just a single bomb. Wait, is it still damaging him? No. No, no, it, it uh... It killed birds instantly, every one that fell in. About four birds fell into that bomb. Oh, and it was still poisoning them, or what? Yeah. I think huh. it didn't poison Chester because he's passive. So if you took those satchel bombs you can throw, and like threw a whole bunch down and then read Birds of the World, you just get like a whole bird harvest, or what? Oh, the satchel bomb doesn't deal poison damage, though, does it? It just sleeps stuff. Yeah. But oh. the problem is, uh, remember, the food rots. The food rots? Oh, yeah. but usually you do birds of the world for the feathers, don't you? Sometimes. I Most people you do it for the naughtiness. Okay, then it would matter even less, honestly. But you have to, but they have to be killed via the player's hand. Okay, what, what do I need here when farming volt goats? Something to kill Volt Goats. Maybe an umbrella for the lightning? Yeah. I could- I suppose I could do it with like a bow. I'll probably do that. We'll see how it goes. They don't have herd mentality, do they? They do. They do? Okay. Spend. I remember. I very rarely have killed Volt Goats. Same. 
it's like I never even really touched them because there's no point in making the weather pain. Until Fuel, Fuel Weaver came along. Even then, we didn't need it. True. The second time around. But we had better players or characters than we do now. A Maxwell, a WX, and a Wolfgang. Yeah. I don't know, man. WX and Wolfgang are like part of Thanks. the Holy Trinity up there. Yeah. I still don't call lightning as frequently as I should. Maybe I could use that in a Volt Go to charge him right up. Because you have to charge him first, right? Yeah. To get milk. Oh, wait, you can get the horns without charging them? Yeah. The milk is the only thing you need to, from them with okay. the charge. Oops. Milk. I'm tempted to go make a bunch of shadow loggers and chop down all these trees. Remove one more mild annoyance from my life. Like Those they, trees just took just over. Encroaching on our land. They'd probably rebut and say that they were there first. So we no, are actually encroaching on theirs. <laughs> but they're new trees. So? It's just like later generations. They were but tiny seeds in the ground when we killed their ancestors. And took over the place. Oh, more bees. Twigs. Good thing we have some of them twiggy trees, huh? You don't have to worry about winter and twigs anymore. Yeah. Hey, it's one of the perks. I still don't like them, probably. You have to make farms. I don't know. I've, I, I've this world here has kind of reversed my opinion on twiggy trees, honestly. Yeah. Like, we haven't needed to plant a single farm. And I've gotten by fine. It's mostly because the farms you have to make, you can only plant one twiggy tree per tile. I'm just saying, there seem to be plenty of them in the world yeah. to harvest, and I've not really run out of twigs. Yeah. Another thing we could do well. in future worlds is create, like, a tumbleweed wall to catch them and just get tumbleweeds for the twigs. I really wish you were able to find tumbleweed spawns though. I thought you could in single player. Yeah, but not in DST because they try spawning off screen only. So you need like every player on the server looking for them. Yeah, but can't you like build walls to sort of catch them halfway through the desert? Oops, yeah. why did I click? Maybe nothing. I don't think. Wait, did I click? Let's try normal again here. I think I accidentally clicked something in the too many items. Let me check the log. No, apparently not. Then. Okay, I think we're fine. But I'm playing a tree guard. Uh, it's good practice. Wait, what area did you say the Volt Golds were in? They're probably in the, uh, what's its name, desert. The Oasis, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just poke around here for a bit until I run into them. Because I thought they were near the edge. 
They're not in the middle or anything, are they? Oh yeah, here they are. No, they're by the uh, edge connecting to the forest. Yeah, I found them. Not the bee biome, just the forest. Okay. This one only has 175 left. Are you sure the charge doesn't affect their drop rate at all? Volt Goat. Uh, 25%. And the charged one, still 25%. Really, the only benefit. I might as well. Ch oh, maybe the hounds are actually kill some of them. This could be fun. I'm going to try hiding when they come, and hopefully the hounds will go after the vault goats instead. Me. <laughs> Wait, was that poison thing part of being level 2 for hiding? G and then R, after fully hidden. No, I mean, like, was it enabled after becoming level 2, or do you get it when you have yeah, level 1? level 2. Okay. Okay, here we go. Volt Goat versus Hound fight. That's what we've all been waiting for. For the fight of the century. Who will win? Will they completely eradicate the Volt Goat herd? We only have one Volt Goat herd, so if they completely eradicate it, it's GG. Yeah, things are not looking so good here. Like three hounds left and five Volt Goats, maybe? One, two, six. Maybe seven. Oh my god, the mobs take forever to thaw. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm not even sure they killed a single Volt Okay, that Volt Goat's dead now. Didn't drop anything, though. Sadly. At least they softened them up for me a bit here. Let's try the charge. So what do I use? How do I put, uh, attack with it? Do I just do a regular attack? R, yeah. It no, I mean, one, the bomb. once the poison is enabled, do I just do a regular attack? Yeah, regular attack, but it has a chance to fail. Okay. Seems to have succeeded. Oh yeah, it's taking some damage there. <laughs> Meh. What a way to go. Rip all that meat and milk. Yeah, it's spoiling pretty quickly. Well, it wasn't charged anyway. Oh well, it was interesting. I hope it doesn't eradicate the entire herd. The other two got stuck in it. Apparently they can't get out. There, one tipped over. I really do need to learn more about the Vault Goats. Yeah, another two died. And okay, poison is gone. There's a lot of rot there now. Now though. But still no horns. Yep. How very unlucky. Okay. Well, there are three left. Killed all my minions. How come you didn't kill it? With the hounds helping him. Oh, okay. How come I can't attack with? Oh, do I have to charge to do lightning? No. Oh my god. They're passive mobs. You won't automatically aggro onto them. No, but I mean, like, how come I can't do lightning against them? Something tough. There's a cooldown on lightning. Uh, have I used it recently though? I don't think so. Did you strike a single mob? Um, 
Yeah, I used the poison thing. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Suppose there was like a sanity equivalent of jelly beans. That would be interesting. The way it looks to me, vault, gold, vault goats are not herd animals. I thought they were since, you know, they spawn in a herd and try staying close together. Well, if they'd let me get close to them, I could try it again. Here, maybe I'll just sneak up as a shadow. Oh, I'll just look, wait until they sleep. Here we go. Burr. This works. Okay, so I'm going to attack one. No, the other one doesn't bother with me. Odd. You'd think because they stay grouped up in a herd, they would be herd animals. I guess they're not, though. Is there a precedent for this anywhere? Mm -hmm. Oh, we got one horn here with two left. Is there any way we can duplicate it? Duplicate a horn? We'd need no. two. Wait, how many How many do we need for the weather pane? One? Okay, we have one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And there's no recipe that uses two. Gotcha. That's a bit unfortunate. Because this is one of those items that would... Like, that's the thing about the weather pane, right? It's... It could be interesting for things like farming trees and whatnot, but... You can only build so few of them. Yeah. How long does it take the Volt Goats to respawn? As fast as a, uh, what's its name? A, uh, Beefalo? I'm looking right now. <laughs> okay. So similar to beefle and rock lobsters, volt goats roam in herds and reproduce periodically as long as, the, uh, as long as at least one remains. Due to this, a player can relocate a herd by killing off all but one and then pushing it. Having it chase oneself while aggressive will not work. Uh, the last goat to the desired location is recommended to have them a fair distance away from other mobs. Yeah. Oh wait, here we go. Don't starve together. They have 700 health and they'll flee, similar to a qualifant from the player. It doesn't really say anything else about them. Huh. Three days left of winter. Make that two. So where's that deer? Where's the deer bum? I suppose we won't be fighting dragonfly then this winter. Probably waiting for deer clubs here. What was the key to get rid of the icon above my head? N. Okay. Thanks. Oh no, my meatballs went bad. Oh no. But yeah, I don't know why certain client mods don't work for other people. You talking about the snow thing? Maybe yeah. he has a mod that conflicts with it. That's like me. And also I've noticed that some of uh, Carl Zelf's mods can be a bit esoteric. They work, but like in really, in unintuitive ways. 
Remember, I talked about that one mod that was supposed to allow you to drop items really close to one another, but it really only worked with like three different items, and I was like, oh, well, what's the advantage to that? I might as well just use the mod that lets me drop everything at my feet, right? So like his mods work, but they, maybe there's something this other guy's overlooking when it comes to enabling it. But you said that there was there weren't any options, right? No, there are. Oh, there are? Okay. I don't know then. Did you ever use the mod he made for trading in all of your duplicate skins? could basically do it with like one command. You would look through your inventory and just exchange all the duplicates. For spools. And unravel them I should say. Yeah, that's why I was being confused. Okay. Yeah. It was useful during the forge because I got a ton of like profile icons and stuff that just take too long to unravel all of them for like five each. So I found it really cool for that and I used it. At the time though, uh, once again, it was like, like I said before, it can be a bit unintuitive, like how to use the stuff that he makes. Because the problem was that time that apparently there is this line of code that most modders know to enable in like the LUA co console. But like anybody who doesn't regularly use the or whoever doesn't regularly mod, they're not going to have it enabled, and therefore the, the mod would never work for them. And that was like the problem I had with it. And he fixed it later. Interestingly enough, it was slightly after I'd mentioned it, so... I'm not sure if I was influential in that matter at all, because there was also somebody who, I think, commented a little bit later on the thread as well. That it wasn't working quite right. All right. So it's impossible to say for sure without like asking, but apparently both of us noticed it at a relatively the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make the weather pain right away. Like, Finder is one of the truly great mods. Without it, you know, it'd be so much more difficult to set up bases because you'd actually have to label chests. Mm. <sighs> yep. Oh, great, a spider queen. Kill it. It's over by the uh, spider quarry. Wait, way up there? Wow. A whole bunch of them up there. <laughs> you might want to be careful. Wait, I could bring the spider hats and we could just like absolutely ravage the place. What do you I've think? I've been slowly killing them all. Every time uh, a gift spawns over down here. Well, I'm in favor of going up there and wrecking them. Oh, well, I'm berserker, so I better. Wait, why are you berserker? You ate monster meat? Yep. Why? Are you starving? No, I want to see the RNG. It was a coin flip, basically. Can't say I'm a fan of coin flips. Music is ready to perform. Oh, leave chess alone.
Oh, you said I shouldn't upgrade these things when they're on my head, right? Yeah, it's like, it changes the armor value, which I've noticed is buggy with any mod that changes armor values while you're wearing. I see. Wow, I'm down to nine bee stingers. How can I not put jelly beans in the refrigerator? Because they're non-perishable. Yeah, but it lacks consistency. In the real world, I'd be interested in eating chilled jelly beans. To be honest, jelly beans would be too hard if you, they were cold. Well, depending on the air, what your fridge's temperature is set at. I've eaten them cold. They're not bad. Yeah. Every time I've had them cold, they're too hard. Then I don't really like the uh, jelly beans because of what the outer layer is made out of. Isn't it was like a sugar coating? It's also made out of bugs. Wait, I thought that was like an urban legend. No, that's what they use to get that uh, coating. Really? Let us learn more. Jelly bean. Holy spider queens! Well, I just did a like a cursory look at the wiki article for it. I can't find the word bug or insect on it. Is it like a specific brand that does this? Yeah, I think it is. Any idea which one it might be? I don't know, really. I mean, I... It's like a dollar store brand, from what I saw. Hmm. It, it's just interesting, because I never heard of that. <laughs> and, like... Wikipedia doesn't say anything about it, so it must be... Pretty niche. I guess it's dollar store exclusive. Eat bugs. I mean, is it some, like, um, Eastern recipe for it? Mm. Like, uh, I don't know, what is, the, like, the... I forget what the East is called. Yeah, like, you don't call it the Oriental anymore, obviously. Wait, is it your class? What the I hell? I don't know. I have a bunch of, uh, spiders after me. Maybe not. Well, it's the last day of winter, so I would hope he spawned. Yeah, just I didn't hear anything. Hope he's not tearing our base apart. Let me just check here. Make sure. Count prefabs. There's zero deer claps in the world. So he's. Holy spake. nope! I have three, uh, what is things after me? Terror beaks? Nope. Um, spider queens? Yep. Good, I'm bringing spider hats. Should be fun. We shall bend them to our will. They shall bend the knee, or they shall break. I'm coming the hard way, it turns out. Eh, I could have saved so much time just going through the caves. <sighs> Petrified trees. Yes. Okay, where the Don de Estas? I'm about to pass out over here. Have some spider loot. He screw for it ails ya. I only have seven sleep. No, we're not miracle workers around here. 
Wait, you're not supposed to be attacking me, you spiteful little bastards. They're, they're owned by the Spider Queen. Right, how do I take control of them then? You had spiders from uh, hives following you. Is that the only way? Yep. That's pretty useless, actually. Let's try it again. Come on. Be friendly towards me. Holy Come on. nope. Attack the spider queen. I guess not, then. I really, I need to learn more about how this stupid thing works. It is not intuitive at all. But then again, yeah, what about it, Don't Starve is? Yeah, this isn't working out. I'm a running. Because they also used up all my repair resources. Ouch. Entire stack of bee stingers eaten. No, oh, fighting really does restore my sanity. I guess that's why I've never really gone insane as Musha when fighting. Okay. Because uh, every time you get a kill, it restores 20 sanity or, t or 40 or whatever I can do. And the Confirmed spider kill. Is spiteful. It only wants me. I can't move fast enough to run out of its aggro range. Really? Oh, because you're tired? Yep. Zero percent sleep. Should have brought that mandrake soup along, huh? <laughs> But that expires in five days, is the problem. Keep it bundled. Yeah. What a time for some nice lag. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Wait, what's up with the music? Oh. You got some... Some of the good guys on our side. How to kill spiders easy. Oh no! Play music. What? I crashed. What? Attempted to call a nil value. Have to restart the game. Oops. My client just crashed. Same here. Oh. Wait, did it, it didn't shut down. It just, we both ended up leaving. <laughs> Ooh. That sounds worrisome. Will we, we even be able to get back in? Most likely. If it cashed both our chips out. It's not showing up. For me it is. Oh, yeah, and there it's it is. responding. Yep, it worked. Okay. I'm probably going to time out here. Yeah. It's doing the thing again. Even though I can ping Google. So I can get out to the internet. Or I can establish new connections. I should be able to connect here. I don't understand why it does this to me. I don't know. Oh, that's bull. What happened? 
The den had one HP remaining and it turned into a queen last second. Well. Maybe it's time to break out the bow and arrows. The bow, the arrows only do 25 damage at max level for the bow. Yeah, but I'd be capable of taking out a spider den at one HP. Do I hear fighting over here? Oh yeah. Oh, it's spring. Nope, getting out of here. Did I heal you? Uh, you might have. I'm up to 131. I'm not sure what I was at before, though. Oh, this cheesy stuff, man. I think there's just too many queens. Yeah, you could be right. I mean, this one's pretty dead, though. Probably the one I was killing before the, all the other queens decided to tag team me. Okay. I'm gonna try bringing in my summons. My music is up, so... It wouldn't it be great if I could actually freaking move? <laughs> oh my god! You're getting stun locks? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's apples. Eh. Got one. Oh wait, the other one's still there. Okay, nice. Here we go. Let's try to do this thing. Leg be gone. You're so annoying. Oh, this had to be a full spider queen, huh? And of course she's gonna summon nothing but spider wires at this point. Oh my god, it's not even, like, fair. Wait, did they respawn their health? Or did I just get unlucky here? Oh, it might have been that one over there? I'm not sure. Oh my god, this is just like so terrible. Right now I'm living off of tuna. You're living off of what? Tuna. Oh. Oh, three spider warriors. Get out of here. You might want to get out of there. I think it's a losing battle. Yeah, because they just all congregate all the time. Because spiders are a pain in the ass, even with fighting with a powerful character. Like four of them over here. Which one has like low health? This one's pretty low over here. And wow, there's a lot of moon rocks over here. Maybe what I could do is like go invisible. And then backstab the spider queen. It can fail. Well, it's worth it a has try. has a higher chance of failing against bosses. Okay. Let's charge it. And I'll attack one of the spiders instead. With a bomb? Yeah. Now she seems to be avoiding it pretty nicely. Yep, because mobs know how not to stand in damage area. Oh Thanks wait, now she's going forward. in it. Oh. Yeah, she's down to 500 health now.
Down to 250. You just freaking hit her. Oh my god, what a cheating little. What happened? She turned into an egg. An egg. <laughs> wow. She was like noping out of there hard. Yeah. Like, why are they able to do that? Like, why? Oh, these other spider queens look like they're pretty low as well. I just get rid of the spider warriors. Then they all go into egg. Yeah, probably won't be happening, won't it? Spider be gone. Okay, I think they've lost interest in me. It's 154 on this spider, come on. I gotta get her. There is no choice here. The death must happen. There we go. Done. It was worth it. It was worth almost getting massacred and killed. <laughs> just to finish her off. Oh, is it just me? Or what? Am I ridiculously fast all of a sudden? How the hell did I get this fast? I don't... I didn't change anything. Why am I so fast? Did you turn on your helmet? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's why? why? Ooh, okay. Your body scout helmet gives up plus 50% speed with max level. Wow. This is just like brokenly fast. Is it max level? No, but it's still real. I'm like, I'm with the walking game, I'm going really fast. <laughs> okay. The water is a problem. Isn't it always a problem? Well, I have an umbrella, but I need to... You know, it's the middle of the night, so... Need to find somewhere to hole up here by the fire. And eat some of my water-soaked honey ham before it goes bad now. Okay, everything is dry. Let's head back into the fray. Back into the fray. Back into the last good fight I'll ever know. That's right. Six, seven. Does it actually use more resources when it's uh, leveled up? Or is it just me taking all these extra hits? Uh, I, I, wait, yeah, every time you get hit, your uh, armor and stuff can level. No, I mean like, if I level it up, does it consume resources faster? Maybe. I cannot confirm or deny it, but it sure does feel like it does. Wait, is but it that could be because blocking more damage. Oh, come the hell on. Where did she come from? Because you know how armor values work, right? The more damage it blocks, the more damage it's transferred to the armor. I know standard armor works. I don't know if Musha's is different, though. It's, it's the same. So technically, yes, since it's absorbing more damage. I may not crystal candy. One more to go. Uh, 
Unless I do this. There we go. I have seven, uh... Where's it? Glow dust. I just mm, turned my cream apples into more glow dust. Okay. I think Spire Queens should drop more interesting items than just their head. Don't they also drop like a lot of silk though? Yeah. I said interesting items. Maybe like, I don't know, one of their legs that you can use as a spear. Well, I mean, the head is like a special boss item. Yeah. Maybe just make the spider head more useful instead of the complete and utter garbage it currently is. Yeah, it goes down uber fast. It only has use for farming spiders that are not part of the Spider Queen army. And well, even then. Oh, wonderful. Another Spider Warrior. Just what I couldn't wait to have on my tail. Also, it looks like the frog oven doesn't work in the spring. Bog or by design? Probably by design because the only season that doesn't allow it to work. If you think about it, it would make sense if it, uh, I mean, it would make sense if it worked in the spring, but, well, why would it, why wouldn't it work in the spring any otherwise? I mean, it could just be a bug. Yeah. And sadly, the mod creator can't do anything about it because ransomware. Wait, all the source code is lost? Yep. So they're trying to fix up everything right now. How long ago did this happen? Uh, February. Oh, wow. You gotta realize this mod is pretty huge and well, losing all that progress. I don't know how you could lose that much. Like I imagine there was a little bit compiled, but it can't be much. Your dad is just compiling things for a humongous update, or he fell on financial hard times. Like, I don't know, he tried unlocking it by paying the ransom. And now he's fallen on hard times. Or maybe he's just tired of working on it and he wants to be able to walk away from it without <laughs> people pestering him. Yeah. So many spider glands. Not even funny. It's almost quaint seeing like one spider warrior pop out of a nest. Since there's usually a hundred. Yeah. You're like, ah, it was a simpler time back then when I was afraid of a, two, a tier two spider nest. No deer clops then, huh? Wait, did you go back to the base by any chance? Yeah. It's not all destroyed, is it? Nope. I wonder what happened to deer clops. I guess we just didn't get one this year. I guess not. It's a bit sad. We could use the eyeball. Yes, for a hammer. Do we have any extras or not? Nope. Oh, well. So there's still a few spider over there. 
Well, my armor is down 90% from all that spider debacle. I thought you were, what, you can't find anything to repair it with, or what? No, no, it's 90%. Oh, defense. really? Mine is still at 82. Sewell, Sewell, I can't say Sewell, Sewell site? Yeah. Ugh. Josh might be right now. We are getting a bit overpowered. <laughs> <coughs> well, Infinite we durability through the site. <laughs> Y'all realize we'd still do pitiful damage. Yeah. And by the time we do get to max level, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the world would be long over and we've killed every boss. since you need 7,000 XP orb. Yeah, but you reach a point where you're still reasonably overpowered, even if you're not completely overpowered. Yeah. That and, well, the durability just becomes pathetic after a point due to how much damage you're absorbing. So you're having to keep refueling it all. See, this is what I mean about the cheatiness of those spider nests and the webs outside them. I was, I was so far away from that one, and it still spawned all of the spider warriors when I attacked yep. another spider. I, I don't remember it being that bad in single player, ever. It's not. Don't start together as forked all the turfs and all that. Like, you know how you can plant stuff like super, like, on the uh, carpet turf? Yeah, in single player you would never be able to. Wait, you can plant things like berry bushes on carpet turf? I'm killing some spiders with three hits now, occasionally. Occasionally? Yeah, for some reason it seems to vary. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's three. Maybe they were previously damaged? Probably. Yeah, see that one took four. And that time it spawned spider warriors. Four of them, too. Wait, did I just get a level up? Yeah, level 13. Alright. It's more like it. Haha. <laughs> you fools. You thought I'd let up just because you spawned, but you were wrong. Oh, there's still a couple more spider dens up here. Blech. And another berry bush has bits in the dust. Disease? Yep.
I'm gonna have to get some of my sleep up here. To continue the fight. Honestly, the sleep isn't as big an issue as I thought it would be, mostly because you can just sleep anywhere. Yeah. I think I'd change that to make it where you actually have to like, sleep in a sleeping bag or something. Otherwise you would just continually wander around being useless. Okay, that's getting a bit chancy there. Let's just stick to one hit. Oh my god, not a freaking spider warrior. Corvotan? Votano. Corvotano. Thanks for the follow. You got me just in time to see me run away from a bunch of spiders because of a spider warrior. Oh, I get it now. This is why I was not dealing any damage. <laughs> Your weapon broke? Yep. <laughs> How did I guess? I was. It seemed like I wasn't making any progress against those spiders, and I found it to be quite extraordinary. There. Now maybe he would just leave me alone for a second. Okay, here we go. Get back over here. So now the question is, what am I going to use to repair my weapons? Hmm. We have a lot of rocks at base. I'm not at base, unfortunately. There's a lot of rocks over at the spider quarry. Yeah. Maybe I'm I can down. find some loose flint laying around and then build a pickaxe. Too bad I can't use stuff like spider glands, but that would be just too good, wouldn't it? Oh wait, I can! Really? What? I can use spider glands. Go figure. Why? I don't know. I guess it's because it's classified as, for some reason, material in the game's eyes. Eh, uh, I'm just as baffled. Blame the game classifying too many things that shouldn't be a material as a material. It should be like a healing item instead, or what? Yeah. Okay, we got a spider. Hopefully that sounds a warning cry. Yeah. They emerge from the shadows. It is almost like playing Wigfred, though. That you never lose uh, sanity when fighting. Yeah. Unless you're playing a boss. Yeah. Oh, it means coffee and socks? Right, is it like a different language for it? Because it looks like Italian or some other, like, romance language. So, Raisin, what do you want to do with the last few uh, minutes of the server? Kill the spider uh, queen. <laughs> You're still working on that? Oh, yeah, the fight is never done. <gasps> oh she my just spawned. I, I was about to take, I was about to take out tier three. 
and she spawned. Yep. Now you know my pain. But this time she doesn't have the backup of like five other queens to help her. She should have joined in when there was like five other queens. That way. We oh, they have tried. <laughs> yep. Marble. Do you think marble should have more uses? Why don't you think it has enough uses right now? You can make, like, renewable armor out of it. Yeah. It just feels like it only has three uses, and one of them is just for farming more. Maybe they could have, like, a marble weapon. Like a mace? Like a marble version of the Thulacite Club. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. Just watch Rainbow Siege. I've never really seen any Rainbow Siege footage, so that probably explains why I don't understand the meaning of it then. Okay. Spooter Queen is dead. Cool. Long live Spooter Queen. And a bulb spawned in the middle of base. Hope it didn't eat all of our items. No, but just spawn. Okay. Get rid of that thing ASAP. Evil little bugger. Yeah, it's really weird. Sometimes I can do it in three, and sometimes it takes four hits. These spiders. Really inconsistent there. I'm not sure what's causing that. The random flame burst from your glaive? Ooh, you might be right then. Yeah. That spider warrior. Oh my god, there are more spiders coming over here. Can we just finish this nest off? <laughs> I guess not. Okay, let's get the nest finished. Oof. What a pain. At least there's something to do with all these spider glands now, though. It's not Rainbow Six Siege, it's Rainbow Six Derp Siege. I don't know, man. If you hate the game, that's fine, but I don't really have anything, any opinion on it one way or another. Is the player base mad at the publisher for some reason? Or is this like a personal vendetta? Let's see if I can take this tier 3 den out without it turning into a spider queen, too. We're very close. 300. 100. Hey, there we go. So I think that actually takes care of all the spiders in this area. I think that was the last den to go right there. So. Wow. I guess I'll have to plant another one, then. There we go. Wait, why do you want to plant another den? Just one. I don't know, just we have one in the area. But there might be some rogue spiders still running around out here. Yeah, probably from all the spider den madness. I'll be taking the 
Caveway Express back. It's a video somebody made in Siege. I'm trying to figure out what SFM means. It's a animation program. Oh, right. Okay. That makes sense. And source Filmmaker? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I've heard of that, yeah. Uses, like, the source engine from games like Team Fortress 2 or... Half-Life. Half-Life. Can we actually find stuff down in the caves? Like, if I press X when I'm down here, will it work? Yeah, but... I don't recommend doing it because it's more of a hassle, because you know. <laughs> okay. I was just curious. Hmm. I wonder if I'll be able to... If I'm not running into the side of the world, anyway catch a snooze here before the sun comes up. It's taking a bit for me to get back, though. Oh, no! What happened? That worthless tent doesn't have any fuel on it. Wait, it does? And why didn't I... Why didn't I fall asleep inside it? Source Filmmaker. Yeah. I've heard of Source Filmmaker. I think I've seen some projects done with it. Is that what they use to make like those Team Fortress YouTube poops, for example? Like those are a hit for a while. They still are. Really? Yeah. Because like all the uh, like a lot of the people who made them are. Uh... Yeah, the, one of the better ones died of leukemia, and so the trend kind of died off when he did. Okay, yeah, that's sort of what I saw, was like, the golden age of them was like maybe 2010, 2011. Yep. Team Fabulous 2, the crowning one of that uh, year. A lot of people remember that one. Just from how well over the top it was. Yeah, I think I've seen it. A lot of um, a lot of those types of videos, they they don't really appeal to me. Because of dumb random humor. Well, there's like no plot to it at all. I guess um, unless there's like backstory based around. Uh, what would you say? Like, in inside humor from the game that I just didn't understand because I don't really play Team Fortress 2. I've never played it, let's be honest here. Um, maybe it's, it's just based off of that. It's inside humor. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't get it. Because I've seen, like, um, YTPs of shows like Family Guy or King of the Hill, and like those for me were funnier, and it's probably because I understood the context uh, that it was based off of. But uh, you, uh, SFM, uh, sor I mean, Source Filmmaker, uh, that is actually not used for those YouTube poops. Gmod is. Oh, okay. Gmod, you know, the game where basically ragdolls and all the other yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind the, of what started uh, Valve outsourcing the licensing of Valve content to third parties. While SFM content is actually pretty well detailed. Oh my god, we only have two honey left? Yep. I guess it's a good thing it's spring, huh? Yep. The time, time to harvest more. Bees. Also... There. Now we have cobblestones in our base. Wow. It's been a while coming, hasn't it? 250 days. Wow, such a nice number, too. I guess we're all out of ash now, huh? Mm -hmm. 
We've been using it all for apples. Apples. Okay. Let's see. I could build. I could uh, burn some of this turf. Do you mind? Nope. Not at all. Okay. Turn the turf into ashes. I suppose the rain will put it out. That's the way it yep. usually goes. It puts out smoldering. Once you directly light something, rain isn't putting that out. It has a chance to, but not a high chance. Oh, really? Okay. It has a higher chance on the first few days. Like, why would it be on the first few days? It's easier start for players. Oh, okay. I need to make myself something here. I don't know if it's all kind of garbage food. I guess I have honey. I'll make honey ham. Oh, we don't have any big meat. All we do have is moss meat. I guess I'll have to make uh, bacon and eggs. Uh, honey nuggets then. Hmm. Wait, what is... Hmm? What? I just can't decide what to make. I made... I fed you honey nuggets. Okay. Time to force feed the bird. Hmm. This is some heavy rain. Do you have a, any protection from it? Nope. Or then an umbrella. Well, I mean, that's what I've been using most of the time. For that's this run. How we uh, don't have the, another umbrella. Yeah, I agree. Oh, it's full. <laughs> and that one's full too. Deer clops in a row. Nixie one doesn't it? What the hell is going on? Wait, is this frog oven like the chiminea from Shipwrecked? Maybe, and oh, you somehow got to light. Awesome. Wait, you couldn't? Yeah. Why not? Probably uh, I need to relog on my end. Oh, okay. You know how sometimes you need to relog because bugging out hard? Yeah, just some weird little glitch. How can I tell when it's going to be done? What? You exit it. You exit it and it cooks. Oh, it's almost immediate then, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's try the this again. It cooks as fast as you can exit it. Can you put it in there? Oh, so the reason it didn't cook the first time was because I had actually just fueled it. See, we've got. So if I put an egg in here, I'm not even sure what this recipe makes. Halbert egg makes uh, what's its names? Okay, it makes honey nuggets. Oh. Now put an egg, meat, and two honey. Uh, one tall bird egg, two meat, and one filler makes bacon and eggs, if it's a tall bird egg. Uh, I don't if have... If it's normal eggs, that's two eggs. Mm -hmm. I, I just didn't have the second type of meat. I guess mole worms works. Wait, bacon and eggs needs 1.5 or 2 meat. 1.5. Okay, so yeah, we could like get a mole worm farm started. <sighs> yeah. And then, you know, monster meat, plus mole worm morsel, two eggs. Bacon and eggs. Also, raising, it's 11.20. No, 10.19 for me. Yeah. I'm just letting you know, we really shouldn't push it like we did before. Okay. So in the morning, say we close it? Uh, is there anything else that we want to really finish up here? Nothing really, unless you want to try killing a moose goose, but that can be put off till tomorrow. Okay. 
So it turned out good that I started taunt, late because the, taunt, taunt. then Joash couldn't kill the Kloss and then we were able to. It all yeah. works out in the end. But yeah, we're uh, kind of in the deep poo poo. Why? What's going on? Hounds. I guess we just have to kill them, huh? I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm planning on killing them. Holy hounds, look how many. Wow, well, most of them went on to you. Wow. Hey, look, I'm level 11. You're closing in on me. <laughs> I'm level 13. I still find funny how uh, much it does the West Sand Nation for displaying her level. <laughs> yeah, I wish you could just toggle the level on. Yeah. Instead of it being like a timed display. Ooh, we got more little hounds. So, if we put them to sleep right away, will they disappear? Because these other no. ones over here didn't. Which I, I really think we shouldn't keep putting them to sleep. You think it'll create too many bugs in the game? No, I think they're just counting as, like, infinite followers. So let's save them for, like, I don't know, a big fight, maybe? Sounds like it could be cool. Do we really not have any town teeth left? No. Surprised. You must have used them all to upgrade, huh? Or fuel. Remember you're using them to repair? Mm-hmm. Okay, I suppose now is a good time to save then. Yep. Save it now or risk doing it again. Woo. And there is your shutdown. Oh, you, d save you didn't save it? I saved it. Okay. Let me check. You made me worried now. I see C shut down. Wait, did I shut it down wrong time? Let me see here. One file removed. Yeah, it's creating a snapshot. Yeah, right there, C save. Okay, it created the save. It's all fine. We'll Everything is good with the world. Yep. Thanks for playing. Yeah. I think we'll be playing again. Uh, don't starve tomorrow, so. I guess I'll see you then. Have a good one. See ya. And that ends the stream as well. So. Let me just uh, log out of this console here. Thank you for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow at about the same time. Have a good one.